Right, in this one we're going to show the set of values for which three uh, these inequalities are satisfied. So let's start off with part A. And part A we've got 3x minus 2 is greater than 8 minus 2x. So we get 3x minus 6 is greater than 8 minus 2x. So we get 5x is greater than 14. So x is going to be greater than 14 over 5. Part B. Let's factorise this out. Well, it's already factor form, so that makes life a lot easier for us. And we've got this. So this is an inequality. Now, if we consider an inequality, its boundaries must be where it equals 0. So we want to know where it equals 0. So where it equals 0, we'll have x equal to 7 over 2 or x equal to minus 1. That will give us our boundary values. Now, if you can imagine this being a function f of x, then we can draw a sketch of that function. And it will cross at minus 1 and it will cross at 7 over 2. So let's draw a sketch of that. Minus 1, 7 over 2. And we want where it's greater than 0. So it's going to be here and it's going to be here. So our function is greater than 0 at these two points. So where x is less than minus 1 or not and and not a combined one or x is greater than 7 over 2. Now we want to make sure that these two inequalities are satisfied in part C because the same two inequalities and we want to know where both of these are satisfied. So this is x is greater than 14 over 5 which is just a bit bigger than 2. This one is x is greater than 3 and a bit. So this one is going to be here. So this one's going to be bigger than this one. So therefore, it's just going to be this end of this graph where they are both satisfied. So we know that x must be greater than 7 over 2. Another way we can look at it is to put our values down. So there's the minus 1. There's the 14 over 5, which is 2.8. And, and then we've got 3 and a bit, 7 over 2 here. And we want to... There's the yellow ones which we had before and then we've got this one here so we can see that it's only both satisfied when x is greater than 7 over 2.